Hey everyone, and welcome to part 2 of my animatronic Caterpie build. Last time we took a look at the servos and how I'm planning on doing the electronics portion of it, and in this portion you can see that I have SolidWorks open. So I would like to introduce you to the Caterpie. So I have a Caterpie I've designed up using SolidWorks, and this is the shell. I'm planning on manufacturing this with my 3D printer. I'm going to 3D print all of these parts and then assemble it. So you can see here that I have the Caterpie, and the plan is for it to be able to be moved up and down like this. So you have a servo in the middle part here, moving this portion up and down, and then the head can rotate as well. And then finally we have the tail that will be able to be moved up and down. So those servos will be put to good use. So let's open this baby up and see where those servos go. So you can see here that each of the body parts are going to be printed in two halves. So everything's cut right down the middle. That way when I print it, I can print it without much support material. Um, and it's not going to have an awkward uh, flat spot on one of the sides where I have to anchor it to the print bed. So if I get rid of, or if I hide part of these sides, you can see that inside each of these parts, I'm going to have, I have made mounts for these servos. So these are just the 9 gram servos, 9G servos that I showed in the last part. And I've designed custom mounts where this servo just slides right into, and then I can screw in the servos. So if I get rid of the rest of the parts. So here's the Caterpie with the exterior removed. You can see that I have the two servos in the main section of the torso. Then I have these connector bars, which this is what I was using with the popsicle sticks, but now I have designed special connector bars um, in order to connect up those servos, and everything fits nice and easy inside of the Caterpie here. So hopefully, the way that I've designed this, um, the only way, the only area that will need support are these uh, servo mounts, and it should just be a nice pillar up to the beginning of the servo mounts, and then everything will print normally. So all of this is going to be printed out of the rigid ABS. For uh, for the tail part, they'll be printed in two separate pieces, and then I'll just glue them together. And then this bar just slides right into the tail. So there's nothing special going on with there at the moment. And then the way that I'm planning on attaching these two sides is that I have these uh, these mounts that I've built in, where I'm just going to use some clothes hanger wire um, to stick it in here and hopefully that'll give it enough uh, connective strength in order to hold these sides together. As for the electronics, you can see here on the other side of the main torso I have little slots in which I'm planning on putting the Arduino Mini and all of its circuitry once we actually design it, um, and the 9 volt battery that the circuit's going to run on. And there should be just enough room for me to squeeze those in the other side of the torso that way everything is self-contained within the Caterpie and I will be able to pick it up and carry it around without any wires or anything sticking out of it. And hopefully there is enough room for the, the battery and circuitry to sit in here without it rubbing against the connector arm for the servo or any of the other servo parts. So I still have to design the circuitry for the Arduino Mini, but that should be more than enough room to put the perf board in and get it all nice and strapped in. Um, the connectors here, I have slots for Velcro straps, and I'm just going to feed Velcro straps through these slots, and that will hopefully keep the 9 volt battery and all of the circuitry in place. As for the antenna, if I quickly hide the antenna, you can see that I've designed a flat spot on the head. And since both of these parts will be printed out of ABS plastic, I can just use some acetone and chemically weld the antenna to the head. So hopefully that'll be a nice strong connection. Um, I'm only going to weld it to one of the sides of the head. That way I can still remove the other side um, to get access to the servo and all of the other electronics. So it's only going to be attached to this right portion of the head. But hopefully that chemical weld will be strong enough to where I'm not going to worry about this antenna popping off. So it should work just fine. And you can see that I've designed the head and the main thorax to slide into grooves in this center parts. So that when this, uh, when the main servo rotates the parts, 
it just rotates within this central area. And you can also see that I've given, um, I've defined the range of motion that these servos can go. So I've cut, had to cut grooves to allow the central connection bar to go through. And these angles dictate the max rotation of these servos. And I can put that in my Arduino code to tell it that it can only move from this degree to this degree. That way the servo can never try to jam and move to a position it can't physically reach because of these slots. So now that I have kind of the CAD working, it's time to print it out and uh, give this a little prototype test, shall we? So I have the first half of the CAD printed out. You can see here that I have it in four separate pieces. I have the tail, the main section, the middle thorax, and the head. And if I put them together, I have this range of motion which I was hoping for. So that's good. And if I pull these apart, you can see that the inside I have servo mounts just like in the CAD model, model and they print it out really nicely so the servo can just fit inside. It has two holes for screws and then the two uh, additional pins that I'm going to use a little bit of uh, rod, a little metal rod to stick them together and do a clamshell for the two halves of the, the body. So I have the head here on the middle section. You can see that the middle section has this kind of dome cut so that the head can move inside of it with no problem. And if you take a look at here, I have that connecting piece on, which I have just glued in using some ABS slurry. So that's just glued in, it's a nice solid connection. And you can see that I've done the same with the horns of the servos. I've just taken a little bit of ABS slurry and glued those in place, the same with the backside. So now that these horns are permanently in position, and if I grab the head, and I put them together, you can see that the center of the horn goes directly over where the center of the servo will be. So it'll be a nice perfect pivot point once that servo is actually in place. And it's the same with the other side. Here I have the, the main thorax That'll be in this position. And you can see that the, the horn is over the servo just as well. And there's two slots for the servo. I have the front servo and then the one for the tail. And speaking of the tail, I have the tail right here, which also has been printed and the connector rod has been ABS glued in place. And the same with the horn, the horn's in place as well, which fits just over the center of the servo and give that nice rotation there. So the next step is let's put these servos and see how they fit. Okay, so I have the servos in the servo mounts. I have all three servos, the one for the head, the one for the thorax, and the one for the tail in place. So let's see how these horns connect into here. And you can see that as I line this up, I can put the horn directly on the servo, and that'll give us nice range of motion. And you can see that there's plenty of clearance between the head and the middle thorax. If I turn it around to the other side, you can see that there's barely a gap, and there's really not going to be too much to see there. And this is going to look really good when it's all done. And this connector for the main thorax works just the same way. I can take it and I can place it inside. And as you can see, I have this kind of range of motion now, which is great. And the tail works just the same way. I can connect the tail up, no problem. And so we have the first half of the Caterpie done. So now it's a matter of just taking the servo wires, connecting it up to the Arduino, and let's get a little test program going. So here we have the Caterpie wired up, and right now I just have the Arduino running a uh, random program, so it's going to randomly choose its position every second or so. Um, but the servos are all in place. If I turn the Caterpie around, you can see the mechanics in action. You can see how the three servos are all acting independently, moving to random positions. Um, you can see how this connector rod is keeping the head is moving the head based on the torso position, and you can see how everything's working just how I expected it to. It actually holds up to the weight of the head so uh, pretty well so far. I'm actually surprised with how well this servo is doing because this servo is under a lot of torque. Because this head's pretty heavy, and it's all pushing at the end of this relatively long rod. 
so there's a lot of torque on this motor, and it's it's acting just fine. I'm curious to see how it will be once I have the other half of the head and the middle thorax in place, but right now it's working just fine. And if I turn this back around, you can see the Caterpie in motion once again. And this is kind of how it's going to be like in the final product. Um, I'm going to refine the moves set a little bit, so it's going to have like a resting position, and it's going to have... I'm basically going to program a bunch of different emotions into the Caterpie. So you can see it in resting, you can see when it's excited, when it's frightened, that kind of stuff. Um, that's going to be just a little bit more on the coding side. So you can see the mechanics are going quite strong, and the servos are in place. So the next step is to uh, do a little bit work on the circuitry for this. And I also have the second half of the torso here, so that goes like that. Um, and you can see that I have two slots in here. One is going to be for a 9-volt uh, battery, which is actually going to run this thing. And then the next one's going to be for the Arduino and a uh, perf board with all the circuitry on it. So the next episode is going to be that perf board and a little bit more of the electronics work. And hopefully we can get this thing into its final package. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to see what I do in the next part. It's going to be awesome. There's still a little bit more work I need to do on this thing before it's ready. So be sure to subscribe, like the video if you've liked the video, and I will see you guys next time. With this thing done, we now have portable power on our Arduino. So what do we say we uh, hook up some servos to this and throw this baby in the Caterpie? Let's do it. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.